I visited Joan Colbert's printmaking studio. She is a wonderful printmaker, wood blocks, linoleum blocks, and she features crows in a lot of her art, and this one, I mean, it's the essence of crowness, and I'm going to give it to a relative who's very into ornithology. Hi, I'm Jeannie, and I bought this for a good friend of mine whose 80th birthday is today, and this is made by Bobby Donahue, and my friend Ann loves fairies, and this will be part of her collection. I found this uh, adorable, cute crochet chicken from uh, Kathy Walsh, uh, crocheter upstairs on the third floor. Uh, just super cute, uh, great art project. She had a lot of other cute crochet stuff. Uh, a lot of great artists around in general. I also bought, uh, what was the other thing I bought? Just a print, I think, somewhere. I think my friend has it. So just good artists all around and uh, enjoy the stuff. This artwork is a painting by Abby Rambler. Uh, First I just noticed it because I love purple, but then looking at it more, I I don't know, it's abstract, so I don't know how to put into words exactly why I like it, but there's just a lot of elements in it and shapes that really call to me. And I've always been a really big fan of their work, so I was excited to get something from them and excited to put it in my home. I'm Brandon Waith, I'm uh, at the Akron Urban League. Um, I've been a really big fan of what's happening in Summit Art Space, and I saw this piece of art by Constance I hope I say your name right, LASIK. Um, it's called The Icon of an African Man. Um, the beautiful thing about the art is it just really resonated with me the way it, um, it says I, it's a black man, you know, represented as a religious icon, and he has his hand up, his right hand up, and he says, there's a words to the right and the left of him. It says, I see you and I hear you. And that's something that really resonated with me as someone in the nonprofit world trying to do better in the community. And, um, let people of color be seen and heard.